There are super gross cat paw prints all over my desk. Buongiorno, as to for the formality. Buongiorno, as for the formalities, my name is Alina and I am the young old soul. I just started school and it's been kind of a rough experience. <laughs> um, Monday I did PE for the first time, so since then my legs have been feeling like two giant wiggly noodle bruises and I hate it a lot. Uh, I also had to read for three hours on Monday for one subject. And then Tuesday I spilt tea on a book that wasn't mine and my face has been sunburnt, so flecks on my face have been flying off lately and it's just not been a good time so I want to think about the summer right now I want to grab what I have left of the nice warm weather and, and just hold on to all the nostalgia of summer so I decided I would do a favorites video since I've been doing a lot of vlogs lately I didn't really want to do a back to school vlog because I'm bored <laughs> uh, and I've been wanting to do a favorites video so I thought it would be fun I have no other justification so if you don't like this video tough luck <laughs> um, but I am working on a back to school video of some sort, hopefully, I think. So the first category of favorites I'm going to be talking about is fashion. I'm really not a super fashionable person, but I like clothes, and so <laughs> here we go. I think it was a couple weeks ago, I went thrifting with my friend Anna for the first time in a really long time. I had so much fun. Um, and the first thing I got was this sweater. It says, I only date superheroes, and it's super cozy, and I know it's the middle of summer. Well, not really the middle of summer, but it's still real hot outside, <laughs> but it's so comfy, and I just, I kind of had to wear it. I'm sorry. So I had to. I had to. I had to. Uh, at the same store, well, no, yes, at the same store, I got these shoes. I don't really know how to describe them. They're really, really Anna Green Gables looking, and when I saw them, I was like, those look a lot like these shoes that I've been looking at online, and they're like 30 bucks, and these ones are only five bucks. Um, they're really cute. I really like them, even though they're kind of uncomfortable to wear, and they're really slippery on carpet. <laughs> I trip over myself anyway, so it's not like anybody notices, but I mean, you know. Then we went to another thrift store that same day, and I got this kind of mock neck, kind of turtleneck, olive green shirt. It's really, really comfy. It's sweater-y, but also short sleeve, and I just, I really like it. It's really cute. Uh, at the same store as I got the olive shirt from, I got um, this red, white, and black sweater that's <laughs> so vintage. It reminds me a lot of the 90s. Um, and it's just, it's so comfy, and it's so cute, and the sleeves are extra long, and so you can like roll them up if you want to, or just leave them down, and it's just, it's so cute. I wanted to wear it so much on Monday that I wore it kind of damp from the wash, and it was still worth it. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, at the same store, um, Anna and I found these <laughs> shoes, and Anna tried them on, but they're nine and a half, and she couldn't wear them. I'm an eight, so they're kind of really big, but I love them anyway. Um, they're these hiking shoes, they're so cute. They have these huge, super squishy, rubbery heels, and they have this little folded over top, and they have this little gold um, badge thingy <laughs> on the laces. It says Earth, because these are Earth shoes, as it says on the back, and they're just they're so cute. They're really, really nice for walking, and there are huge hills in my neighborhood, and I like walking, so it's nice to have these. Uh, last of my favorites for um, uh, fashion, that's the word, <laughs> are these Old Navy t-shirts. They're called Everywhere, but it's kind of like a pun because it's everywhere, like you wear it instead of like everywhere. <laughs> but I really like them. They're super comfortable. I have three of them. I have this one that says Slow Your Roll. It's kind of a navy blue one. I have a black one that says Road Trip on it that I wore on a road trip. And I have another one that's a light blue that says um, whatever floats your boat. And they're so cute and they're really flattering and they're really comfy. And they're thin, so they're comfortable in the summer, but not so thin that you can see through them. Uh, and I also have these Old Navy pajama pants that have flamingos on them. I stinking love flamingos. It's worth wearing pajama pants in the summer. And any, they're not really these like super thick pajama pants, so they're really kind of nice in the summer when you get cold and hot. 
because you're sick all the time, but they also have these really cute ones that are llamas in space, and I want them so stinking badly. The next category I'm gonna be talking about is music. I've actually been listening to a lot more music this summer than I thought, but I'm gonna warn you, I don't really listen to very popular music because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> and I'm a young old soul, so don't expect anything you know. Anyway, uh, this month I started out listening to the Beach Boys Party album and Pet Sounds album. Beach Boys Party is like this really cool um, live recording where these, where like the whole band and like some of their girlfriends and everything are like just recording these random songs and it's so cute and there's so many just funny random lines that people said in between recordings and I love it so much. And then also at the beginning of the summer you guys saw in one of my vlogs that I got this tape of Harry Connick Jr.'s album 25. Um, I really, really love this album and the first time I listened to it was in the car because it's tape and my car is really old and I was reading a little pamphlet that comes with the tape and it has like a, like a paragraph for each of the songs that he wrote about why he decided to record the songs and what happened while he was recording them and it's kind of like the Beach Boys Party album in that it was kind of, there's this story behind it where it was like most of them were like the first take of the songs and he had some friends come in and record with him and it was just really relaxed and chill and I just I love all the stories and it's such a good album and I just it's so jazzy uh other people that I've been listening to I've been listening to Conan Gray's two songs um, Grow and Idle Town. If you guys can't tell that I'm really inspired by Conan Gray, I don't know where you've been. But, um, besides Conan Gray, I've also been listening to Simon and Garfunkel, songs like At the Zoo and, uh, Bleecker Street, as well as I've been listening to Holland Oates, um, songs like, um, I really like Did It In A Minute, and, ooh, I don't know, Holland Oates just has such, like, a, a vintage 80s -y feel that I really, really like. Um, I've also been listening to um, Jamie Cullum's Catching Tales. Jamie Cullum is like my all-time favorite artist and Catching Tales has been totally the album of the summer, um, even if I just started listening to it at the beginning slash end of July. Uh, I've Some of my favorite songs from the album are Photograph, which I've been playing a ton of ton on the piano. I love it so much. It's not exactly for like younger listeners, but I really, those are my music favorites for this past summer. They're kind of all over the place, and they're not really popular. Um, some popular songs that I have just randomly been listening to because of Emily <laughs> are um, the new top songs and Waving Through a Window from Dear Own Hansen. So, I mean, I listened to a few things. I tried. I really did. All right, so as far as like TVs and movies, TVs? The plural. As far as TV shows and movies, I haven't really watched that many movies. I watched this really morbid rom-com that I didn't like called um, Return to Me. I mean, it was a good story, but it was really morbid and it was kind of weird. So yeah, there's that. That was pretty much the only new movie that I watched this month slash over the summer. Um, but I have been watching a ton, a ton of that girl. I stink and love that girl. It's so good. <laughs> It's a show from the 60s if you don't know what it is. It's kind of a sitcom about uh, this young lady who moves to New York and it's so cute. It's on Amazon Prime. I really recommend it. Um, I also started watching Miami Vice because it's one of my mom's favorite shows and she wanted to watch it with me and my sister. It's really funny. Um, Tubbs is my favorite. I just, it's really great. Um, and as far as like YouTube channels that I've been watching, of course, kind of great. And I've also been watching a lot of Drawing with Waffles because I'm an artist and I really like her videos. I've been more subscribed to her for a while, but her recent content has been really, really, really good. And I just, I really love her videos. And I've also been watching Doodle Date a lot. I've been watching Doodle Date for like three years and I stink and love them. Uh, I think finally are the miscellaneous things in my life. Um... There's not really a lot of them. I didn't really read any good books this summer. I read Frankenstein, but I really did not like it. <laughs> but um, I have a few miscellaneous favorites. The first one, my battery's about to die, is my White Barn Midnight Blue Citrus Candle. I love it so much. I got it at the very, very beginning of the summer. It smells so good, and it reminds me of summer because I used it so much, even though I'm afraid of matches. It was worth it. 
And when I was thinking about that candle, I also thought of my Bath and Body Works chamomile and honey fragrance mist. I was immediately attracted to it because the packaging is so stinking cute. I love the new packaging at Bath and Body Works. It's just kind of amazing, but it also smells great. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> so that's it for my favorites video. I had a lot of fun filming this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me some comments below so I know whether or not I should stop doing these or not. Excuse my babbling and my peely face. Um, but I hope you guys had a great summer and are really, really excited and have a great school year this year. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching TTFN. Talk to for now and I shall see you all later. I'm British now and I stuffed my toe.